Well, it's not the first time, and it certainly won't be the last time. What's going on, guys, and welcome to the channel. My name is Grusby, and before we begin, it would be amazing if you could help the channel out by liking the video, and of course, if you are new, subscribing for more. So, yes, it isn't the first time that developers have lied to the players of a video game, and if history has taught us anything, it won't be the last time either. So apparently, the relatively new Blue Archive video game has received a dose of content censoring, despite the developers saying that when the mobile game went global, it would not. Of course, as soon as they said it, they should have realized that best intentions will never win the day, and it really won't fly on social media. Once a promise is out there like that, a promise is a promise is a promise, and the developers who chose to censor the image of a relatively young-looking female character in the game have been on the poop-covered end of a beat stick ever since. The scene in question was censored by cropping and zooming for the global launch territories outside of Korea and Japan because apparently... Their social media doesn't call them all sickos for the game's content, and they have nothing to worry about. It's only the rest of the world that seems to hate nudity. At some point back in October, the game's global program director stated that they had, quote, no plans to alter any artwork, which while some people may see that as a concrete promise of galactic proportions, I see that as a, well, they weren't planning on it. It wasn't actually them saying we will never ever ever do it ever <laughs> lol this is not the first time a game has gotten censored on global release and while i'd love to dump all of this on western ideology i think it's more along the lines of someone at google just doesn't like you looking at the naughty stuff in fact more and more people are discovering that google and android are censoring things at an alarming rate and it's just a matter of time before we all have to set the calendars back to 1984 and start sipping on some of that delicious Victory brand cola. But all joking aside, I don't see this as being any different than any of the other times before when developers have said one thing only to do something entirely different. As of now, Blue Archive sits at a two-star rating on Google Play, and while I'd love to think that it's because all these players want uncensored lolly artwork, it's more because the game is just simply a broken mess. I tried playing this game when it launched and it crashed right after installing. It let me play maybe a few minutes and then crashed the second time I booted it up. I mean, I hate censorship as much as the next person, but I think if you're going to rampage about a game, at least make sure it's over something that's quality. This piece of trash game, it just needs to go back to the Nexon Bakery for a few more years. That's it for this video, guys. What did you think? Let me know in the comments down below what your thoughts are about all of this. I'd love to get your take on it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit that like button. And of course, if you're new, subscribe for more. If you want to help support the channel directly, you can do so by becoming a member of my Patreon. There'll be a link in the description. Have an amazing day, everyone. Keep being awesome. And I'll see you all in the next video.